Radio Show. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to the 25th Hour Radio Show here on Monster Radio AM 1150. I am your host, Rob Fairless, and on the phone with me today is Evangelist Matt Cruz out of Chicago, Illinois. Matt, thanks for taking time out of your day to join me on the show. I appreciate you, Matt. Thank you for reaching out. It's an honor to be on here. You know, Matt, let's start the show off like this and give all the listeners a little background information about yourself. Uh, now, you being an evangelist, I got to know, have you always been involved in the church? Is it something you came into later in life? How did your journey with Christianity begin? Yeah, so my parents are pastors. Uh, they're the senior assistant pastors uh, right under Pastor Dan Willis of the Lighthouse Church of All Nations out here in Alstead, Illinois, in Chicago. So I was born in the Christian faith, man, and uh, I grew up always in ministry, always quoting scriptures and closing out every service with a benediction. My problem was I just never had an intimate relationship with the Lord. Um, I knew I knew about God. I knew of Him, but I didn't know Him. I didn't understand that when you know someone, you have a relationship with that person and uh, that it's maintained and established the communication. So I was really kind of living my own life, but in the world and then and half, half foot in the world, half foot in the church. So I was one of those uh, kids that claimed to know God but denied Him by my actions. So at 18, I was involved in law enforcement I worked there for some time. I had all my, my life goals set. Uh, I resigned from the police department, tried to listen to the, the military. I was, I was going into the Marine Corps with my best friend. And right when I was going to get shipped off to boot camp, everything just got blocked as if it was God, which today I understand it was. And since that day forward, I knew that wasn't for me. And God just steered my life in a whole different direction. And, and from that point on, I had like a radical encounter with Jesus. Uh, this, this other evangelist at a church, He's, uh, you know, he runs the outreach ministry and he started mentoring me and started going out. And that's when I just got filled with the Holy Spirit, man. And then God just changed my life so radically. I started hearing his voice. Start, he started telling me about people's pain in their body. I was in Walmart and just seeing healings happen. So since that day, I knew there was a call on my life that I was called to ministry and, and, and the rest of the history, man, God just started opening up doors. Yeah, amen, man. Now, as far as feeling a calling to be bold in your faith and, and to put yourself out there in front of people, you know, in front of a congregation, when did that start to come about? So I grew up doing Christian rap, and I told my parents, you'll never see me preaching on the pulpit. And my mom always was like, man, you better be careful what you say. You know, the Lord might just do the opposite. <laughs> so God used that for me, you know, traveling, going to different youth events, uh, doing Christian rap and all that stuff. He used that for me to that open door to be behind the pulpit. So I think it was when I, when I got filled with the Holy Spirit, man, I just received this fire. I received this boldness and everybody has greatness inside of them. Everybody's got potential inside of them, but that can only be unlocked by the power of the Holy Spirit. So when, when I received the power of the Holy Spirit, like the Bible says in Acts chapter one, verse eight, that you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Uh, that's what happened to me. I received the boldness, man. So it was literally, it was just, normal to me to be out there because it was already in me and it was just unlocked by the by the holy spirit yeah that's amazing matt the power of god is is awesome now like thousands of other people i came to know you from a shared facebook video that you had made uh and i of course went to your page and i was like wow man this young man is on fire for jesus christ you know i hit the follow button when did you first start getting noticed as far as your facebook videos are concerned was it a gradual build up of followers or did it happen pretty quickly for you? So it actually, it happened pretty quickly. It was actually an amount of like seven months, a seven month period. So it was, it was less than a year. Um, I, you guys are probably familiar with Marcus Rogers. He's one of my best friends that I, we travel a lot together and he did a meetup at the bean out here in Chicago, downtown, like an outreach. And uh, someone shared this video on my page and said, Hey, this guy's on fire. He, he reminds me of you. You guys got like a similar testimony. So I started following him, and then when I met him up, uh, God kind of connected us together. So seeing his stuff kind of inspired me, and God was already showing me, hey, this is what I want you to do. So I started making videos, and within that seven-month period, uh, God just started putting the anointing on these videos, and it started going viral. And then it just, man, at one point, I just gained like 100,000 followers in one week. Like, it was just insane. Yeah. Now, for all the listeners out there who might not be aware of who you are just yet, and the type of videos I'm talking about and what you're talking about, 
Uh, we're talking about some street evangelism. We're talking about on the spot healings in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, let That's the right. people um, let the people in on what you've witnessed and experienced in some of your videos by calling on the name of Jesus. Oh, absolutely. So there's so much power in the name of Jesus uh, that things happen when you call on that name. Uh, I've, I've seen deaf ears open in Walmart aisles. I've seen blind eyes open. Uh, I just I've seen a, just this awesome stuff that only can be explained by God Himself. Only what He alone is capable of doing. A uh, lady had a bone spur sticking out of her kneecap, and I prayed for her. And there's what you call instant healing and progressive healing. Uh, your faith will heal you. So uh, I've experienced a lady with a bone spur, and it disappears right off of her kneecap. It, it just radically disappeared. Um, I've seen just, I prayed for my buddies with that one video you've seen. She had a mass tumor in her colon. She lives in Arizona. I live in Chicago. That was my buddy's mother-in-law. He got her on FaceTime. I prayed with her. She just felt the fire of God go in her body. Little did I know the next morning she had an, already an appointment to like a follow-up for the cancer to see what they were going to do. And when she went to the doctor, they said that thing disappeared completely. Amen. Now for someone like yourself who has, who has obtained so many followers, not only for yourself, but for Jesus Christ. Uh, you have bound to have had your opponents. I mean, I know that the enemy is definitely real. Uh, call them what you want, internet trolls, atheists, etc. Do they ever bother you, Matt? I mean, how do you deal with people like that, especially online? Yeah, so, you know, that comes with it. And, and the higher you go, the, the more you stretch to a new level where God takes you, there's always going to be naysayers. there. And literally, these people come out the woodwork right when you start doing this. <laughs> making a change and trying to be that different, you know? So at first, of course that stuff gets you a little bit because you're like, man, you know, what would I do to you? And it's just, <laughs> it's just awful things people say, but I just think of it as, Hey, you can say whatever you want. It's still not going to change the fact that God is real and he's healing people. And just because you don't believe it's not true, doesn't make it not true. And it, and I had to come to the, the realization of no matter what people say, it's not going to stop the favor that's still on my life. It's not going to stop, the blessings that, that, that are coming in. It's not going to stop God blessing me. So I think it's just understanding that they don't really understand. They have never come to a personal knowledge of who Jesus Christ is. So I just got to love on them, you know, and, and, and I ignore a lot of them. I don't really, I don't really pay attention to them anymore. There you go. So let's talk about the rise up movement that you're a part of. What's that all about? So the rise up movement, uh, I just started, it was on my heart for, to really provoke people to rise up. Uh, that too many people today are living for Jesus in private when he died for us in public. And the Bible says that the righteous are as bold as a lion. So that word in my pastor, me and my pastor just had that, that, that slogan right there, Rise Up Movement. Um, so it's a, it's a ministry at a church home called Rise Up Ministry, Rise Up Young Evangelists for people that are called to, to be uh, an evangelist to rise up to the call. But more so it's a movement where just believers in general um, can see what of the love of God everywhere we go, that everybody's a chance, everybody's not an inconvenience, so it's just to provoke people to rise up, share Jesus and his power with other people, so that's what we do, everywhere we go, we just, we tell people, rise up, this is what we do, we do revivals for, to provoke you, see these signs and wonders, these signs shall follow them that believe, so you gotta rise up, because people need the truth, they need the answer, people are hurting, and we have it, if we just rise up. You know, Matt, you're such a young guy, and, and your love for God is undeniable. Have you set goals for yourself? I mean, do you have a plan, or is it each day let the Lord lead you where the Lord leads you? So, it's definitely, you know, the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. So, my, my steps are ordered by the Lord, so I kind of just put my trust in Him. But I have an idea, um, and I understand clearly what what's um, my life, and the the this call and this anointing. So when you, when you get close to God, he just reveals it, you know? So I'm, I'm definitely called the full-time ministry and I'm just in a transition right now to, uh, into full-time ministry. So I believe it's just, it's an international ministry that God is, is, has. And, and we just travel man all over and, and uh, just preach the uncompromising gospel of Jesus Christ, man, just uh, an awakening and, and a revival to just hit the nations, man. And, and the people, just the people that are lost, even the, even the, Saints, man, to revive the saved. Right on, man. What about outside of evangelism? Do you have any hobbies or, or activities you're involved with? So I love playing basketball, man. That's one of my hobbies I played <laughs> since high school. Uh, and other than that, I just I just love hanging out, man, with friends and, and making just making disciples, man. And uh, and what we love to do, we just love to hang out. We love that fun, bro. Every time we were in Colorado, we just love go snowmobiling and 
and everybody hangs out together and uh, just as a group, man, and, and we just have fun. We do some funny stuff together, all our, our whole team. I hear that. So so I know we've mentioned Facebook, but is that the only place people can find you online? Do you have a social media, any other social media sites or websites or anything like that? Yeah, so my website's in the making right now, uh, but I'd, obviously it's Matt Cruz on Facebook, uh, Matt Cruz on, on YouTube, and then my Instagram is at smoothcruz96. Uh, so you can find me on there. Just type in like a hashtag Matt Cruz on Facebook, and they, that's when they can uh, see my videos pop up there. And, and it's such a blessing, man, to be, you know, called to ministry and just have God reach people through social media, man. That's, it's incredible. It is incredible. So before we wrap things up here, is there anything I didn't mention that you might want to add? Any final words or anything like that? I just, I would just encourage the people, man. I would encourage the listeners that are listening in and tuning in. Uh, you know, no matter what you're going through, to keep pushing. Keep pushing. Uh, there's a purpose on your life, man. God created you for purpose. He created you by purpose, and he created you on purpose to do something specific. And I just want to say to all the people hurting out there uh, that God has created you, and you were predestined before the foundation of the world. You know, and, and some people think that they're not good enough, but you are good enough. You're valuable. You're, you're amazing. You're empowered. You're family, and, and you, you're, you have a purpose on your life. So I just want to let the people know that, man, and that there's the only way to have it is through Jesus Christ. He's the only answer, and he came down, man, lived the life that we could never live, and, and he died and rose on the third day with all power. Amen. Well, Mr. Matt Cruz, young man, it's been my pleasure speaking with you today. I wish you nothing uh, but the best moving forward in your ministry, and I'll be praying for you. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for allowing me to be on here.